Hi Air Energies, Gemini, Libra and Aquarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising and those cross-watching, welcome to your tarot love messages. Today we're going to take a look at and see what will happen if the two of you come back together. Okay, so we want to see whether or not this connection here still stands another chance um, and what might transpire or manifest if you do decide to reconnect or revisit this connection. As always, it's a general reading, so please be mindful of that. If you are after a personalized tarot reading with myself, feel free to reach out and connect. My email address is going to be listed for you at the bottom of the video here in the show more section. Um, and with all of that being said, let's go ahead, give the cards a shuffle and begin. Okay, so you've definitely been doing a lot of thinking about this person, as have they. Okay, some of you are dealing with a strong cancer energy here, let's come through, or possibly even a fellow uh, air sign, water energy is also coming through strongly. Um, okay, so firstly you should know that just because your person hasn't necessarily been reaching out doesn't necessarily mean that they haven't been thinking about you, they have, okay, it's just that they haven't been vocalizing or they haven't necessarily been communicating their thoughts with you but rest assured you've definitely taken up a lot of their mental space they've definitely been thinking and reflecting back on um, a lot about you and about the relationship that they have had here in fact I feel like a part of them has been I don't know why though but I feel like a part of them has been trying very strongly to fade your memory to try and move on from you to try and forget you but there's such a close attachment that they feel towards you and there's so much confusion here that it's been making it very difficult for this person to do so your person has been spying on you but I feel like that's you as well you've been spying on them you've been checking tab keeping tabs just you know seeing you know what, what's going on with them who are they communicating with and you know there's that curiosity that I feel like is mutual so they too okay especially if you guys you know, have a, a similar social circle of friends or if you connected on social media. And again, just because they haven't been communicating with you, I feel like they've been trying to find other avenues of just trying to, you know, keep tabs on you and just seeing how you're going, how, you know, what's new with you and where you're at emotionally here. Um, there will be communication. If the two of you do come back together, I feel like it's very important for you to sort of go back to how things were in the beginning, okay? Um, because I feel like some of you started off really strongly, but then some there was an energy shift, okay? Um, so it's very important for you to maybe revisit how things started off in the beginning and what made that so good, you know, what made getting to know one another so wonderful and exciting. I mean, yes, the novelty, I get it, but why did the excitement have to fade out? Was it because you started putting pressure on the connection? Was it because there were too many differences and you didn't align? I'm not sure. It's your relationship and you're the expert on it, right? So you're going to have to try and, if you want this to work, I just feel like there's you guys have such a close connection here, but there's also a lot of confusion, like a lot of mental and emotional confusion here. And I feel like if you do guys come back together, ultimately, it really depends on you. It's not any external forces that are going to influence this connection. It depends on the two of you and how bad do you want each other? How bad do you want this to work? Because you're a part, okay, the what I see with all this swords energy, when you're apart, you guys really hurt each other. That distance, not talking to one another, not being able to just reach out and have things uh, normal, that hurts you and that equally hurts them. But when you're together, your language or your communication with one another, um, or just how you go about things, sometimes you tend to hurt each other as well. So you need to find a way in which maybe your communication styles complement one another a little bit better, or you need to find like um, a compromise here. Because I feel like when you're together, you hurt each other. When you're apart, you hurt each other. I mean, something's got to give. And again, if you really want this connection to work, that emotional closeness, it's there. It's there in the connection. But there is some hurt that I feel like you've caused one another, which needs to be healed, okay? And if that pain is healed, I feel like that will make um, 
reconciliation you'll be able to reconcile some sort of difference there and it will be able to make reconnecting and revisiting the connection especially how it was in the beginning here a little bit easier your person has never fully moved on from you six of cups in reverse they're stuck on you and as i've mentioned they're trying really hard to fade your memory but they can't it's like they see your face everywhere you go you're just you're in every sentence that's being uttered you're in every you know um film scene that they've seen they just they feel a very such a strong closeness and such a strong attraction to you and it seems that to me your person even though you guys may have separated um they've never truly walked away and they've never truly disconnected with you just because they weren't communicating with you doesn't mean that they weren't thinking about you here so it's definitely a sign that the two of you haven't really lost you know lost touch or lost closeness with one another the six of cups in reverse and i'm seeing that there is that forgiveness okay so what i feel like as i've mentioned this relationship it can go 50 50 if you decide to heal past hurts and past insecurities and there needs to be an element of forgiveness that needs to be introduced in this um connection because i see that the two of you have hurt each other in the past with words that you have said and exchanged with one another or with things that you might have done with one another so you need to be able to truly forgive and you know it's saying you're sorry or not meaning it is not what forgiveness is about it's accepting you know something that's happened it's not necessarily meaning that you're okay with it but it's just making peace with hey this has happened and growing through it right um so i feel like forgiveness is going to be a very crucial step in moving this connection forward again i keep circling back because of the moon's energy it's like this connection will either work or won't work depending on what you do and how you go about things because to me it shows that with the six of cups energy there can be that increased level of like harmonious energy there can be that forgiveness but it's you know it's the steps that you take there can be that level of harmony and that cooperation um the other thing is i feel like some of you may have placed too much expectation on the connection and it might have backfired here so it's important to you know not be so sort of stubborn and rigid in your ways be a little bit more flexible a little bit more compromising the both of you not just you i'm um, definitely talking things out i feel like the swords energy he's inviting for you to really talk things out and clear the air of confusion here um and don't close yourself off neither of you should close yourself off to the opportunity of reconnecting or revisiting the connection because there are still feelings involved there are still very strong feelings involved and again it's just if you open yourself up if the two of you really open yourself up and you know open yourself up to each other i feel like you can go back to how things were from the start here okay because the six of cups in reverse tells me that time and time again the two of you are both taking a stroll down memory lane and you keep revisiting the memories and revisiting what the two of you have created and shared together you've clearly not lost touch with one another on a spiritual or emotional level so that you know the connection is there You've been thinking about each other here. But don't let don't let any fears or insecurities hold you back and hold this and you know hold the both of you back from revisiting things. Alrighty guys, these are your messages. Thanks for watching and listening. Please show your support by subscribing, liking, sharing. If you're after a personal reading, feel free to connect. Otherwise, bye for now.